Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. What's up, you guys? It's Mac. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you guys through my Mac to PC transition. Yeah, I'm a PC girl now, and I'm gonna tell you why. So, for a pretty long time, I've been using a Mac laptop, and, and don't get me wrong, okay? Macs are pristine. They're very user-friendly, work-friendly gadgets. The problem came in for me when my Mac started to break down. My screen was busted, my battery was completely consumed, and apparently the glass in front of my my webcam on my Mac was also banged up already. Literally just one day while I was using it, decided to, you know, in a panic, I took it to the mall and they told me that to get it fixed, I need to get everything broken about it fixed. And on top of that, a diagnostic fee that costs about a thousand pesos just in case they find anything beyond surface level that is also an issue you know something that is more than just my busted camera or my all-consumed battery or the fact that my screen is trying to kill me every time i look at it because it it's completely busted at that point just repairing my mac laptop cost an arm and a leg so i thought you know what i've been thinking about building a pc for a really long time now i am just gonna go do it i'm going to retire my mac and i'm going to start building my pc i actually recruited a friend of mine who built her own pc to get on video call with me and choose the parts with me online but before we get started just for reference my cpu I put together on easypc.com. You guys can get the link down in the description box below. They have a category that you can click on called build your own PC. And they'll take you step by step on choosing processors and motherboards and graphics cards and all of that jazz. And they also help make sure that it's compatible for each piece that you choose. So it makes picking and choosing a lot easier. You don't have to order them separately. You can order them all in one place. And when you go and check out, you can request for them to build the CPU for you and you won't have to build it yourself, which is what I did. I can build plant shelves and balcony gardens, but I'm not about to fuck a cpu you know so easy pc is the way to go i also got my monitor from them so that's pretty much all you really need to be honest a monitor and a cpu and then you're good to go so i guess let's fast forward over to the day when my cpu arrives and we unbox i came home from a trip and what i came home to was this bad boy <laughs> I chose a white rack Halia gaming CPU and we're going to convert my setup into an all white or mostly white setup. Okay, uh, we switched over to my phone because my camera died, so... For any of you guys who are watching who might have already built their own CPU, please don't yell at me by not knowing which side it's supposed to stand on. It's supposed to be like this. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. There it is, you guys. film it but I literally spent five hours with my friend on call trying to sort out the internet issue because what had happened was apparently my CPU doesn't have a Wi-Fi card slot and so I don't have a Wi-Fi card and I had to buy a dongle and I had it delivered to me ASAP so I got it but then we had to figure out how to enable the dongle so that it picks up the internet and actually connects to it and five hours later we figured it out I, I mean not the dog I mean if you want I'm, I'm, I'm doing it already I'm doing it already Ooh. Shut up. Dark okay so you guys can see the colors better wow there we got the RGB colors we also have the RGB fans and I put my little my little Gerard Way Funko Pop is inside because you can just open this. It's like a window and I just put him inside. He's so cute. So the issue now is that I've got my CPU. I don't have good Wi-Fi. Uh, trust me, I cried a lot about that. I was, I'm easily frustrated over things like these because I don't really know what's going on. So I get 
annoyed about it. There was a lot of crying involved, but we're good now. Clearly, it's up and running, right? I'm in the middle of editing this video, quite literally. So the next course of action was to get a Wi-Fi card. My significant other called me up one day and was like, Max, you can get a Wi-Fi card and have it installed. And I'm like, okay, great, but where are we going to install it? And he said, we'll just figure it out. What's funny is somebody told me that motherboards nowadays, when you build your own CPU, don't have Wi-Fi cards, and I believe them. That's complete crap. Do not believe that. Motherboards have Wi-Fi card slots. And if you don't know what a Wi-Fi card is, it's basically that gadget within your laptop or your cpu that you can attach so that it picks up the wi-fi and you can have wi-fi on your computer so i went online looked up a bunch of videos figured out what a wi-fi card slot looks like and then went into my own cpu and found it and i figured okay david i do have a wi-fi card slot Let's go buy so one. So David went online and researched for compatible Wi-Fi cards. There are for my MSI motherboard. He found one. And we went to the mall. The mall didn't have it. But we did find a place that could do the service of attaching the Wi-Fi card into my CPU. Because again, I'm not about to do that myself and accidentally ruin everything. So... It wasn't a complete bus that we didn't find the Wi-Fi card we were looking for, but we did find it online on discount in Lazada. And instead of it being 1.8, which isn't really bad, to be honest, I got it for around 1,200 pesos. So that's great. I ordered it, I came home, and we took it back to the mall to get it attached. It's my first mechanical keyboard! This is my first official, legitimate, real, hot swappable, RGB, looking into switches and crap keyboard. Ariel's here. She has convinced me to film tonight to open it. I'm sorry, I didn't wait for the daytime to open it because I'm just too excited. But we're going to unbox it as neatly as we can together. Are you all ready? Well, it's heavy too. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. You guys are probably annoyed by my excitement at this point. I will do a sound test some other day when we have better lightning. I'm so flippin' happy. Girl, listen to this.
so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching me on this roller coaster ride of frustration and eternal happiness once I finally got my CPU up and running for realsies. And now I can edit videos and I can game on it and I can stream on it. And that being said, if any of you guys actually made it to the end of this video, I am streaming in an hour at 8 p.m. and I'm going to be debuting my new OBS setup, my new streaming setup. We're going to chat, maybe game a bit. We can do a little Q&A session about this video if you guys are interested in building your own CPU. So join me for that live stream and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. <laughs>